joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment, drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Thank you. When the heat was too much, he said, I step aside. After the also be like, he said, I step aside. So are they telling the passport to step aside or are they telling the passport to join the people that are doing the right thing? Because there's a line that is passing a high voltage, high current that serving the system. Are they willing to join the line or are they trying to join the line that's giving low voltage, that is not carrying anything? So that, that is my question to them. What are they doing after telling the passport? What are you going to do? What is your plan? What is your decision? It's because of the elections have failed them. Because I wanted to tell them, this is the people that are not hearing something. They have ear. This two ear they have is for fancy. They have ear for fancy, but ear is meant, meant for somebody to hear, hear, hear anything and take it serious. They have ear and they don't hear anything. Even though they hear anything, they don't take it serious. Today, it, it is clear for their eyes. Could you be that? Let's assume now that it will be the declare him winner. I think that most of them will be jub uh, uh, jubilated. Social media will not rest. Mm -hmm. But because of the prophecy that OK Obama had designed this thing, that amen and amen and it will come for nothing. So they have got, they had disappointed. I remember what Mbaka said some time ago when Peter B was running up and down. He said, Mbaka said that somebody is wasting his time. They come after Mbaka. They, they, they close down our direction, even send him a. Uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know, the Catholic people know that uh, where they send him. They send him outside. All those nonsense. After everything, they still turn him back. But the thing that he said have come to pass. Somebody is wasting his time, and the person is wasting his time. So, telling your uh, passport is not what you want. What we want is the action. The action that will follow with all your heart, the action. Exactly. What action, what effort do you have you place? So don't that tell in your passport. Maybe so one sometime your village will fake call you now. So we need you. Something is happening. How can we do it? Because we need you to come back now, 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 now. The person will not have, the person have to go back to the embassy to, to process the same passport you tell. Is it? So don't tell the passport based on what based on what you're expecting disappointed you. It just out of out of uh, annoyance and anger. It destroys the, you have to plan yourself. Listen, I'm, I'm telling now. Well, you know, plan yourself very well before you do something public. Because I, I, most of them do this in out of ignorance and hypocrisy. And Nigeria, uh, uh, since they don't do the election like this. Uh, yeah. Not just that. Not just that. It's, it's still where I'm concerned. It might be for a selfish yeah. reason. Selfish reason is some of them. Yes. Some of them have dual citizenship. They have dual citizenship and they have two passports. Yes, yeah. So, you yeah. now tearing that passport yes, now, and then you forget your brothers now to continue to suffer. It's no longer your business. Or are you tearing that passport to yes. join the struggle? That is the question. Because many people who are tearing their passport, they have dual citizenship. So the passport tearing is not the major thing. What, the, what matters to us is the action you are going to take after destroying that very passport. What next? Are you going to, after destroying that passport, are you now going to relax with your other citizenship? Maybe you are a citizen in the UK, you are a citizen in America, you are a citizen in Germany or whatever. You are citizen, you now relax with that German citizenship, with your own passport. And now forget your own brothers who are fighting for the freedom to continue to suffer. Let, not, let that not be. If, 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 that is what I'm saying. Hey, let, it, let that not be the intention. Let it be a good motive that after tearing the passport, you go to action. Join the auto piloted IPOB, which is the ones now that are fighting legitimately openly, fearlessly, to regain struggle. Support the ESN. Support Mazi Simon Eba, who is in the forefront of the fight today. Support him morally, mentally, financially, any way you can do. Enter and support. That is the right thing to do after tearing that passport. Don't tear passport and go and relax and sleep. That is the message. Go on, my brother. Mm, that, yes, yes, it, it is in order now. Because you can't tell the passport and just sit down and relax to watch now. Uh, no influence that the person has dual citizenship passport now. So 
and uh, it makes no sense if they do it like that. So I'm advising them since they, since they now realize that what our leader is saying since how many years ago, our spokesperson is saying since how many years ago, and everybody is saying it, that is true. Now it is for them now to come up on their own platform to start to shout, just as we are shouting, that Nigeria is fake. Nigeria is fake. Nigeria is not supposed to be. That everybody should go their separate way. That's what I'm expecting them because most of them confess, finish, check their passport, and after after talking on the social media, they now go off. So I was expecting them to begin to begin to say uh, what IPOB, what the African people are saying is true. That is now clear for me to understand that I am misleading. Even though I was supporting one Nigeria before, I am sorry for what I said. Our cause to people that are fighting to free themselves from Nigeria. So I'm expecting most of them to say something like that. No, they don't send your passport and they don't apologize to people that are doing the right thing. You, you fight against calling calling them all manner of names. They're supposed to lend the apology public as they are telling the thing. So, and that reminds me, and uh, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, other thing that is ahead of us. Uh, uh, I still remind our people. Uh, I said it before. I will still repeat it again that they should remember that the vice president-elect is the king of Boko Haram. The man that nearly wiped out the entire Bologna state, sent all the whole Bologna indigenous to IDP camp. He is the vice president-elect. That tearing your passport does not mean anything. No. But let them consider that the vice president-elect is the king of Boko Haram. And the president-elect is the king of Aburo. The man, <laughs> exactly. the man that created yeah, that, the man that created that in Lagos state. Yes. And he is the one that ordered the killing of uh, incest to, uh, protests at Lekito Gate. That they should not forget all these things. He is the one that give order. They start shooting innocent people at the Lekito Gate. That they should bear in mind what they are going to expect. What is going to happen in this small regime. Because it's going to be terrible. Then let them not just tear their passport and, and, and sit down. Let them join the people that are doing the needful. Because there are people that are doing the need. Let them join the colors. That's what I'm expecting them to do. That after announcing that I'm carrying my passport, and therefore joining the people that are shouting, let us divide and let us everybody go their separate way. Hey, hey. It will not make sense to me. Yeah. Thank you. It will not make sense to me. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you so much. You have spoken very well. You have spoken well. That is what we are saying. That is what I'm saying. And I want them, so many of them, as they are repenting. There's nothing bad in repenting. We don't have any grudges against anybody. We don't have grudges against you, but we are trying to make sure you are taking the right decision. Today, as we are celebrating our spokesperson, Master Simon Epa, Master Simon Epa is a very good example. Very good example. As at 1999, and as 19, uh, 2019, 2018, Master Simon Epa was still a one Nigerian East. 2017, 15, 16, 17, 18. Mazi Samaneko was still a one Nigerianist. Mazi Samaneko was still serving under the one Nigeria. He was still serving the Biafran people, even the Biafran people. He was serving under the Biafran people. He was the leader of the Biafran people in Finland, making cases for Biafran, speaking on behalf of Biafran people. But he was still a one Nigerian. But from 2019, when Mazi Samaneko denounced in Nigeria, from 2019, when he started the struggle, he has never gone back. From 2019, that Mazi Epa, the person we are celebrating his birthday today, from that 2019 that he joined the struggle, it is a progress every day. He's making progress, 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 progress. Today, he has become the spokesperson of Biafran people in a space of how many years? In a space of how many years? From 2019 to now, how many years is that? He has now become a loud voice that. Any place you mention Mazi Simon Epa, the next thing you that will come to your mind is Biafra. What about you? You that is denouncing the Nigeria today, you that is denouncing Nigeria today, how are we going to remember you in the next few days? In the next moment, are we still going to see you shouting Biafra? In the next few months, are we still going to see you talking about the end of the Zuleka Republic? Or after shouting, after denouncing Nigeria for a few minutes, the next week, your brother will become a senator. The next month, your brother will become a, a, a contractor. They will give you a contract, and you forget about Nigeria. You forget about the issue again. You begin to talk about Nigeria. How, 
how are you going to remember in the few next few months because the end of nigeria is going to take just few some few months to come from few months from now nigeria will end that is why i don't want to put it in very far and tell you how many years in next many years no in few months to come how are you still going to be remembered our spokesperson, Master Simon, whatever that we are celebrating today, from 2019 that he joined the Biafra struggle, he has been making progress from glory to glory, from up to up, going up, going up. The level he is today, the level that Master Simon is today, after the highest person in this struggle, which is Master Nandekano, after Master Nandekano, our supreme leader, the next person online is Master Simon Eber. Somebody who killed into the struggle just 2019. You can see the progress he has made. You can see the achievement. Today, you cannot mention his name without calling Biafra. You, any place you mention his name, the next thing is Biafra. You mention Mazin Nandekano, the next person you remember is Mazin Samaneva. You mention Biafra, his name must come on board. Even in writing, the zoological blog public cannot talk about the Biafra issue today without mentioning his name. There's no media house that will talk about Biafra without mentioning Master Simon Eber and Master Nandikam. In the space of how many years? I am now asking you, you that is repenting today, those of you that are not repenting today, tearing your passport, those of you that have said, I'm fed up with Nigeria, and now I now know that Nigeria will never work. And both the celebrities, in the next few months to come, are you still going to be saying what you're saying? Or are you going to change your tone? In few months to come, will you still be standing firm and be uttering that statement the way it's supposed to be? Or you're going to run back to your shelf? You're going to begin to protect your identity. You're going to begin to protect your own market. You're going to begin to protect your own, uh, your own uh, uh, environment alone. Is that what you're going to do? You have to search yourself. Search yourself. As for those of us that are autopiloted already, it, it doesn't matter whether you fall in or you fall out, whether you continue to support or you don't continue to support, Biafra is going to come. We has gone too far to begin to look back. If, if Mazen Nandekano can say that we have crossed the Rubicon as far back, as far back as 2019, as far back as 2019, Mazen Nandekano said, we have crossed the Rubicon. What do you think we'll be saying today in 2023? Okay, you think that somehow we're going to look back. We are not looking back. As I told you, we are recovering Biafra land inch by inch, block by block, village by village, local government by local government, state by state. That is what we are doing today. It has started already. For the Thomas, they want to see it play out. Wait, just be patient. Be patient and wait. You can't make us to make mistake. We are going to take every single procedure to take away Biafra from the zoo. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen before your own very eyes. It's going to happen. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter whether you support or you don't support. That you support Biafra today is for your own benefit, it's for your own gain. If you make a U turn today and begin to support Biafra, it is for your own gain. You are going to enjoy the glory. You will enjoy the blessing. It is for your own good. Don't allow yourself to get distracted. Do not allow yourself to get distracted. We know our, our real enemy, the true enemy of Biafra France. We know them, the British and the, the Caliphates. Every single attack you see against the Biafra people today, every single attack is being sponsored by the Caliphate, sponsored by the British through the Caliphate, and then they are using Tunubu and his talks. That issue of trying to pinch us against our Yoruba brothers cannot work. Pinching us against Yoruba brothers cannot work. It cannot hold water. That very nonsense cannot hold water. Continue to put that lies and propaganda for all I get. It cannot hold water. And for some of the idiots, some of the idiots who are talking about uh, uh, evil people say that uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Lagos is no man land. These idiots 
don't know that the person that said that word is not even an Igbo person. The person that made that declaration openly is not even an Igbo man. The person that called Lagos a no man's land is not an Igbo man. It was Jekonde. Jekonde, former Lagos state governor, was the person that called Lagos a no man's land. It is not even an Igbo man. But today, that is the blackmail that the enemy have used to talk to idiots that don't have sense. Idiots that are, are just street hawkers that have not... The, even some of them who are living abroad, some of them who are living abroad because of their personal hatred, ethnic bigot that they are. Meanwhile, they will be the first people to call it ethnic bigot. But today you have seen them. Even celebrities, celebrities begin to cash in into this lie. The person that called Lagos a no man's land is not an Igbo man. He's not even an Igbo person. It was a go former governor of Lagos, the Jaconde, who made that statement in his speech after he won election he called lagos a no man's land when he was making his speech but today when you see people repeat the same word they will not translate that it is Igbo man that is calling Lagos. who who told you that Igbo man has time of have have time to talk about occupying people's land what we do is business we go to area we develop it make it conducive for us to do our business and we'll do our business we'll get our money and we go The Igbo Biafrans have never, ever, in history, we have never conquered any people. Go and check. You will never hear any history where they tell you that Igbos conquered this, Igbo people conquered. You can never hear it anywhere that Igbos conquered anybody. It has never happened. Nowhere in history. It is not because we don't have the power or the strength to conquer people. It is not because we don't have the population to conquer people. It is not because we don't have the ammunition. We have everything it takes to conquer people. But yet, the Igbo people are the only people who have never, ever made any move to conquer anybody. They have never tried. They have stayed on their lane. Even when they had every instrument to conquer people. But, but today, what do you see? Lies and lies upon lies. I thank God that they are waking up. But make sure that the waking up is genuine. If it is not genuine, you will still have a bit of blame, but for us, we are gone already. Yeah, welcome, my beloved brother. It's been a long time. Thank you. Good to see you again. <laughs> I my brother, I greet and uh, my... No, my brother, I thank God. I thank God. I thank God for everything. Yeah, I thank God welcome, for everything. I'm drinking, pa I'm drinking pan wine. Happy. <laughs> because today is our food. <laughs> today is our food session a bad day, so... I'm, I'm all of us are wishing a very happy birthday. That's nice, very good one. Can I? Very good one. <laughs> can I get a cup of one by one? Get their cup of one. That's good. Yeah, that's nice. My brother, I'll, 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 I'll wire your own to you. <laughs> no problem. No there. problem. Do you you know why I'm happy in all this shenanigans that is going on now? Hmm? You know I'm happy? I'm seeing a lot of people coming to social media to appear their passport. And those people that are appearing their passport is obedient. The people who <laughs> called us fools. Exactly. The people who called us evil. The people who called us all sorts of names. Our, ed our elders say, that what a, a elderly man, not a useless elderly man or like Ohane mm -hmm. a sensible elderly man, what he sees sitting that a small boy will climb a little country and he will not see that thing. Well, we are. The question you are going to ask all these useless people is this. Whatever Simon is doing, is there anything Simon is doing that Nam Khan has never done? Is there anything that Simon is saying today that Nam Khan have not said? Nothing. There's nothing Nam Simon ever is saying that Nam the Khan has to not say unless you are not following him genuinely. But if you are following Nam the Khan genuinely with a clean heart, whatever that what is is it autopilot? Nam the Khan was the one who announced autopilot. It's on a broker. So what is it that he, Nam the Khan have said? Nam the Khan has said that so many people are going to be bought out. Are there born? I, I, I have not known, bought so many people. You say you are not going, no matter what you do, you can never stop what, you are, what we are doing. Have they stopped what we are doing? 
the time of the presidential election, someone ever was all over the social media, arrest him, kill him, do this, to do the other one. But today, what is happening? Exactly what we want our people. What is happening on the Tamil market today is what he want them. And ask the main market people, the, the, the chairman of the union, that they should rally around and provide fire service people so that such a thing is so in our call. You will then listen to him. I see one of our sisters ranting, ranting on social media say they have they have burned their burned their burned their market in such and such a place, burned their house in Abuja, burned their house in such and such a burned their market, burned their, and you are still there. Oh, you are still there waiting. You think that all the people that they have killed, that if they have the opportunity to fund it. To turn the clock back, they are not going to turn it. You that are living now are the one who have the opportunity to do the need for. What is the need for? Support the cost of your freedom. Pay that price. If the other sit at home, whether in Lagos, whether in Kaduna, whether in Abuja, in wherever you are, sit at home. What are people saying? What what is people telling me? Tell me what is, is it not what you chooks are, are online every day crying, telling them what, what to do. Obey our source person. Follow our source person. Do whatever he asks you to do. What is happening? People who have not entered. Okay, look at the, the breaking news today. That the court said that uh, they cannot allow obedience to obi to obi. To, to do the mission, to the mission. The that case, is only the ANEC they have the financial. So, so the court is case is thrown out of the court. The question people should ask those people hoping for court didn't OB and that people win Buhari win Buhari 2019. Ah. And the case was in court until Buhari, the, 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 the late Buhari is already finished, you know. The ah. green they put there is already finished, the court is have ended, whereby they are still adjoining the case. They thought us as his, as his children, how many times will something happen to you before you will learn? Mm. It is a proverb. And the last one said that the first one that happened to me is a mistake. That any other, any other one that will happen to me, then I purposely allow it to happen to me. Exactly. Whatever that is happening to our brothers today, whatever that is happening to evil people today, their friends today, we allow it to happen to us. It's not unknowingly. You know very well that Lagos, that whenever anything happens, they will descend on you guys. You know vividly. Nobody needs to tell you. Ojuku cried the day they called him to come and open transfer. What did Ojuku call them? That is the question. And it was the same transfer that Lenwood was there saying that anybody.